In the bottom right side, we see the blue Brodos player from Team NV. He is creator. The top left side, we got ourselves the red Terran fighting for the Afrika Freaks. He is T.Y. He is still on the Afrika Freaks, right? They didn't just kick everyone off of the, the Afrika Freaks, did they? Did they? Okay, no, he's still on the Afrika Freaks. Good. Good, as I had hoped. Which crazy team would kick off TY? Uh, I think they played a couple of weeks ago in some tournaments and TY barely won. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You're not quite sure what's going to happen, though, of course, with... Uh, with creator here, as well as if, if it was just barely winning, you know, and another day, another time, creator could win this quite easily. Until he leaves for the military, okay. That makes sense. Alright, TY, solid defense there. We'll be able to get that uh, command center going at a pretty good timing there. Creator and its own base. Uh, still just doing the, the things the Protoss does. The brings the Protoss do. Waiting to see what he's going to go for. Did he just cancel Warpgate? He started up Warpgate and then he cancelled it. Now he's starting it up again. Interesting. Going for the Twilight Council here. Maybe he was trying to pretend that he's going for a Stargate by saving up more uh, more of the gas. Some protos do uh, do do that type of thing. All right, no proxies anywhere on the map to be discovered. Third base for TY coming up here rather rapidly. Let's see, did he go for the... Yeah, he did go for the double Rex in order to be somewhat safe against early aggression. And he's definitely going to need it because he's going to go up against a Twilight Council Adept play. The Adept play, not that often part of the, uh, the PVT matchup. But can be absolutely gut-wrenching. It, uh, it is quite something. Now, the thing for TY is what he needs. Uh, I would say... A siege Tank wouldn't still hurt, but... Some bunkers. You need to have bunkers. You're not going to survive this without bunkers. Especially because he went for that third CC as well. That's a lot of resources not going into units, but going into producing the, um, well, the extra economy that he's going to have. The extra economy that's not really going to kick in until he either wins or loses this game because of a big adept aggression that's coming his way. Still no bunkers over here. He's having a rough time scouting as well. He's got his SCV near the third base, but he's just not quite uh, being able to figure out what is happening here. TY still just kind of doing his thing. Sending in more and more SCVs. Getting uh, the, uh, the upgrades. There we go. Factory now on the way as well, but this is looking quite the scary thing. A DT Shrine also coming up behind this, by the way. That will be the next step here. TY seeing the uh, the absence of a third base so far should make him wonder what the hell is happening here. Going into the main base will get shot down. Not quite see what's happening here. There were two stalkers might make him think about the blink uh, a blink play, which is why he's going into the main base here. Which is you know a smart thing, a smart thing to consider, but. Uh, it's not the thing that's coming at him right now. And splitting up his units is probably one of the worst things that he could do. The bunker probably not going to get completed here. We'll get targeted down. Stimpak does complete though. And that does seem to be enough actually. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a lot of DPS all of a sudden. Okay, well TY, that was, uh, that was just a bunch of marines stimming in and <laughs> saving the day. Five workers do go down. I do think creator... Um, he spent, like, how many volleys trying to get the bunker? 
If those Woolies were on top of the initial Marines, that may have gone a little bit different. But yeah, that wow, that, that's a lot of Marines. <laughs> that's a lot of Marines holding the line right there. Good point being made, of course. Stimming without any healing being here is never a good thing. And that could still cause him uh, quite a bit of trouble. That's a good point to make. Nice. Kind of what we're seeing here. The extra production of creator really kicking in. TY having to be quite careful with his stim play. He's going to have two medivacs momentarily. He's going to be okay on the work account. He's lost 11, but that's still fine. You know, it's that third base, remember? Lifting up, dropping elsewhere. Trying to just stick around to that bunker area here. Needs to keep dropping his SCVs or uh, Marines out of the Metavex, though. Okay, yeah, this is still a very rough situation. <laughs> that first team got so many adepts, and yet. Yeah, Still. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is going to be it. That's going to be it, guys. GG for TY. Uh, he just doesn't have what he needs to really break the uh, the adepts play here. More adepts. Look at that. Even more adepts come in. He can take on the bunker again if he wants to. Doesn't even feel like it's a necessity. Chilling in the back, denying all the mining here from the second base as he's having a third base behind this. Creator, you sly dog. So you shank on the low grounds. I mean, I guess he had to, right? Because the adepts were on top of his uh, mineral line and he needed to get rid of them there, but. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yeah, this has been over for a while now. GG is called. There we go. The Glaive Attack, man. The Glaive Attack is no joke. I thought for a moment that it uh, kind of turned into a joke because TY, his first initial stim there, just slapping through. But, uh, yeah, afterwards, not quite being able to... Not quite being able to stabilize there. Um, that's the power of a lot of gateways. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm doing all right. Doing okay, uh, Size. Thank you for asking. Hope you're doing good as well. I'm just kind of kind of chilling, watching the StarCraft 2. A little bit tired overall, but uh, other than that, swell. Pretty darn swell. Going to be doing some more D&D &D tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. Um, I have a lot of fun with the D&D. &D. I'm an absolute arsehole of a character, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I spat in the face of a nun, as <laughs> in D and D, of course. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of lot of fun th things that can happen with that game. It's uh, but yeah, I've only played it once so far. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottom left side, we got ourselves a blue Protoss player fighting for Team NV. He is Creator. Top right side, we got a red Terran player fighting for the Afrika Freaks. He is TY. You used to play Pathfinder? What's that? What's the Pathfinder? Ooh! Feisty! Creator with one point on the board. Uh, maybe looking to finish this one off a little bit sooner rather than later. Pathfinder Kingmaker, is that like, uh, it's like D&D? Ah, I see. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, 
That's pretty rad. Yeah, I like those. Um, I like the, the you know the games that require you to be, have a little fantasy and maybe role play a little bit as well. I don't mind it that much. I think it's a lot of fun. The best way I found to do it, really, to like kind of flush out a character, is to just kind of t pick a character from a TV show that you really like, and then you know. Just try to interpret how that character would be in the situations that you're you're being placed with your character. Because it becomes a lot easier rather than having to flush out your entire character on your own, right? You can make adjustments as well, but yeah. Things are about to spice up here a little bit. It's not with too much just quite yet, but it will go quite quickly from this point onwards. More and more Protoss units are coming across the map here. And they are starting to get some uh, some Twilight power around their uh, support area as well. Twilight Council wondering if we're going to see the, uh, the Blink play or if we're going to get to see the Adapt Glaives once again. It will just be a Dark Shrine in fact, straight up into the Shrine. Fair enough. Three adepts now. That is very difficult to deal with. Gonna need quite a couple of marines. Although, be it one of them very low on the HP. Might be worth for TY to try and organize a hunting party for that one. Before the shields do regenerate. It's up to him. They're pretty close now. Can try to at least give a quick poke. But doesn't quite go for it. Factory here for TY. Getting constructed. We'll need to keep an eye out for the uh, the overall scan usage here as well, of course. That will or will not be available. Looks like so far we're pretty hefty on the muling. I know Shade being a bit, a bit annoying. A bit of a nuisance. Let's see why scouting around with his SEV. It's not managed to see the uh, the big bad quite yet, but... Still. White Prism on the way. Starting up the Zealot speed upgrade also. That uh, seems where the next part of this uh, game will take us. Wondering if we're going to get uh, DT Archons here. Yeah. Oh, this should have been seen. This is definitely seen right now. How much energy do we have? I'm not entirely certain this one seems to be ready. There we go. The other one in the main base. Do we have energy? No, we do not. A raven will have to be constructed. Natural base is going to get cleared out here. Two SEVs doing a bit of a running around. Okay, you know what? That's not a terrible overall opening here for TY. I mean, it, it's rather annoying that he's incapable of mining continuously from his natural base. That is kind of putting him on the back foot. He's got another scan right now. But, yeah, he hasn't taken lethal amounts of damage, I want to say, for SEVs. And, I mean, Creator committed quite heavily also into those... Uh, into those DTs, into the... Kind of the adept pressure at the start. I don't think it's looking too bad here for TY. Might be looking pretty good, actually. That's the Archons. More gateways coming up. So this will be an all-in committed with uh, Charge Lord's Archon, I do believe. As long as he doesn't lose them here, of course. Which would be quite ridiculous. Oh my god, he loses them. Oh my god, he loses them. That is... That is just... <laughs> oh, why did he stick around for that long? I guess he thought he would be able to dodge the uh, the interference matrix. I guess he thought he would be able to load them up before it went off, but... Man, that is, that is some tough things to have happen right then and there. Um, losing those two Archons, they were part of the main deal... Of what was the plan here? 
And now, Creator is just going to have to, well, either switch gears or do it with a lot less firepower. Okay, it looks like he will do it with a lot less firepower, but look at how much firepower that still is, though. My, oh my. Stimpak gets denied. Oh, good Widow Mines there. Warperson being rather annoying as well with its uh, micro here. Trying to get as many of the SUVs as possible. TY is starting to form a front here against the Zealots. Has managed to acquire enough uh, infantry to push this backwards for now. Okay, continuous on with this mining. Lost nine workers there, but still on an equal amount of workers overall. Still doing pretty good here, I'd say, for TY. Looks like he's in continuous stress, and honestly, he in a, mo in a way, he is continuously on the verge of losing this game. But he's not losing the game, and that's the beauty of it, right? That is the gorgeous thing that is happening here for TY so far. Uh, still hanging on. Still bringing forth more and more momentum his way. The Widow Mines there. Okay, well, we'll be able to get some good connections. The SFEs will once again have to be pulled, though. Finally, a Viking capable of dealing with the uh, with the war prisms here. Gotta be careful against these Zealots right now. Viking needs to work his butt off in order to get that war prism down. Another wave of Zealots does come in. But I don't think that on its own is going to be enough to really get the kills here. We'll go for a recall. Smart move. A brave move as well. After committing so much into the offensive, it not working out and then being like, alright. Let's go for a third. Okay. So TY here. Putting himself into a nice position. Creator. So has quite a couple of zealots here, but I mean that's pretty much all he has. He doesn't have anything to fall back onto, right? This uh, the High Templar archives only now uh, getting constructed. will immediately boot up the storm upgrade but Stimpak has finally finished and TY has an angry look on his face we'll be able to spot this war prism here just use this uh, booster so I won't be able to just chase after it with the Widermine smell may still be able to with the uh, with the Viking hold on its heels as well it's not gonna attempt all right Maybe, maybe send some marines there. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's not going to get it. Um, Alright, what he will not get either is a, a drop that goes off without a hitch here. That is too many units to drop into. Especially without the drilling claws. Full medevac straight up towards the main base. That looks pretty undefended. There's three stalkers, but three stalkers not enough against the... Um, overwhelming force of four medevacs. A little bit slow in one of the unloads. But, oh, a great feedback. R hitting that raven. The raven's in trouble. The hype. Oh, the Templar Archives goes down. TY might be already quite happy with just picking up and uh, getting the heck out of there. Yeah, I would have the same feeling right there. Uh, very well done. Very well done. That means no high Templar here for a while. Even the two that he still had available. Deciding against uh, keeping them around, trying to get that uh, get that energy back up again. He's like, alright, let's just make it an Archon. And I'm not even sure if he realized this Templar Archives got destroyed. He's still not rebuilding it. He's still not rebuilding it. There we go, now he is. Now he has to know. Archon could still go down here at the same time. We have a bit of micro on the right side. Looks like TY. Uh, you know, I'm taking good trades here on the right side. The left side has given up. 
dealt quite a bit of damage as well. That Archon survived, so I was not anticipating that. So that's going to be the first thing to get sniped, but... Okay, where does that leave us in this game? I'd say TY um, in the driver's seat here, quite clearly, right? Oh, why is that coincidence? Wow, how did that Widowmine still get burrowed? Oh, gets the Archon. That's good. That is that is very nice. Getting an Archon for the Widowmine there? Sure. I'll take that. Oh, one Widowmine survived still. Hanging about. And Burrow. Nicely. Alright. There we are. Okay. I think you could have targeted the Zealot there, but... I guess he's busy with the uh, oncoming death train of Protoss towards his base. I guess you can't fault him for prioritizing that. Okay, one storm gets cast. That's a really good concave and an incredible spread overall here for TY though. He's not taking uh, too much damage on either side. Uh, some Widowmines now stuck in the ground as well. Getting a good connection onto the uh, the back line of Stalkers. They are already softened up. The Marine Marauders trying their best to clear out whatever is in front of them. But the Zealots and Alcons, they, uh, they are holding the line quite efficiently. War Prism will have to be found out by those Vikings. That would be a good call here. Oh, he just lands them, I suppose. That could do the trick as well. And Creator definitely running out of steam here. Has another warp in, but it's too little. It's too late. That army is absolutely gone. And with that, I think Creator may tap out. Yeah. GG is called. Nothing left for him. And uh, didn't even have that much of an economy behind it either anymore. Um. All right, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that he's kind of evening out the supply there, right? Because Ty kind of invested his army into uh, getting rid of infrastructure and workers, which means that the army of of um, of created there still was at a pretty pretty high level. The army value was pretty good for for creators still, uh, even after Ty dealt all that all the damage. And with that army, you're still going to do quite a bit of damage overall. Or at least you should be able to. Um, it's just the way it is, mate. Races get buffed and nerf balance shifts. I mean, yeah, true. True. I don't think there's a lot of imbalance going on right now, though, to be fair. I think we're in a pretty good state, I have to say. Okay. We have arrived in the final conclusive match in this best of three for TY and Creator. In the bottom left side, the NV player, Creator, of course, that blue Brodos here. In the top right, that's the red Terran. He is fighting for the Afrika Freaks. Give it up for TY. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I, th I feel like there's enough other factors in the game of StarCraft 2 to look at rather than just... Well, this unit can do this. Well, this unit has this much HP and this much HP. Well, you know, I don't know. Or, well, these units can do this and these units can do that. So this is better. It's a lot of a lot of different things that go in into a game of StarCraft 2. But, um, yeah, whether or not that is more deciding rather than what a unit does or not. I don't know exactly. I like to think it is. Right? I like to think it is. Whether that just be positional play, uh, counterplay, reading into your opponent, what they're doing. Being able to play super defensively. All these types of things. Very aggressive. 
You always get damage done like Bjorn or... A lot of things come into uh, come into account. It's all good, dude. It happens. I mean, you'd not be the first person to to have those types of thought, right? Thoughts. Heck, I've had them myself as well. Usually it does happen when you're playing the game though yourself. But then, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm seeing these pros play it and I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, quite clearly. Um, any race can take games off of any other race, right? You guys unsure if the map pool will change? I think it will. Probably. I mean, they Blizzard doesn't even really have to do anything for it, except for just update the maps on the uh, on the thingamajig. Maybe have one person kind of look around it in the uh, the map editor, make sure that it's up to snuff. But other than that, should be good. You want Lost Temple? Oh boy. Oh boy. That map was really small, wasn't it? Like, incredibly small. I'm not sure how that would do these days. You're not even assigning a single person. Fair enough, fair enough. It is an interesting company right now. You know, they have a lot of other stuff to work on, I suppose. Uh, to be fair, StarCraft 2, probably, like, in the grand scheme of things, not really making them a lot of money. Time investment-wise, compared to other things happening within Activision, right? Whether or not it's a better game, that's, that's a whole different discussion, but... Something as Call of Duty, right? Oof, the amount of money you get from those games. Absolutely insane, especially with the uh, the new, uh, what's it called, the battleground thing. I mean, it's just cl quite clearly gonna skyrocket the uh, the income there with all the. I think it was loot boxes as well. They have in that. I'm not so sure, but anyway, just the cosmetics and stuff, right? Anyway, regardless, what we're seeing here from TY is quite the aggressive push with the Marines. Now, normally I always think, okay, well, he's up against Phoenix. That should be good, right? Uh, no, not really. The Phoenix, with this amount of Marines, are still very, very difficult to kill. It takes them a long time. And when there's Adepts and Stalkers shooting at your Marines, you don't really have time to deal with those Phoenix. Let alone that the Phoenix also lifts up a good portion of your Marines. So, uh, they're not going to be able to shoot at all either. Creator switching it up now with the Colossi play after this. As. We are looking at what is going on overall. With Creator here. There's that extended Thermal Lance. Uh, he's getting a Forge as well. Is that his second Forge or his first Forge? It is his first Forge. Plus one is already available for TY, but he didn't do double upgrades here, so. Still waiting to see for an armory here, which is not available yet either. Nor is it on the production tab. Could be a good opportunity maybe for TY to try and get ahead in the, uh, the upgrade spot. Then again, what do I know, right? What do I know? Um, yeah, they posted this integrated to the StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2, Heroes, Staff. I don't know. 
They are adding a um, a Jim Rayner skin to Overwatch, though, I've seen. At least I think it was. So they're still thinking about StarCraft, right? Drop coming in from the top left, but ah, it's being spotted by the pylon. The Phoenix are already moving uh, across to try and intercept that. If they do, if they do try to, if they do, if they do try to uh, make a move forwards, doesn't seem like that is going to be the case. Ty playing it safe, carefully, cautiously. Hmm, TY's got a lot of uh, barracks right now. Ready to smoosh out all those uh, all those infantry units. It does seem like he's acquired quite a handful. And we'll attempt a bit of aggression here around the timing of a fourth base that could come down here for Creator as well. Uh, he will start attacking on two sides. Probably the best thing for the Terran to do at these types of moments. Medifax there, checking to see if the way is clear. Not really clear there, as they might say. Quite a couple of Phoenix ruining their plan. TY still just kind of looking for that opening, right? Behind this, he's going for the plus two, plus two. It's not an incredible upgrade advantage anymore as uh, Creator kind of uh, doing similar things across the map here. Slightly behind perhaps, but we'll get his uh, weapons upgrade slightly before TY as well. So mm, TY is starting up the uh, the transition well, well, already pretty far along here for, uh, for the next step. Uh, getting the air weapon upgrade is very important for the Terran to do so. You'll either have to rely on the Vikings and uh, maybe later on also Liberators, of course, to offer that support against the Colossi and the Liberators, or oh, sorry, the um, uh, Disruptors. <laughs> that was sufficient. Um, hmm. So they're just both kind of taking more, more bases. Macroing up. Neither of them really looking for a fight before they have their end game tack here. It would appear. The EMP, of course, upgraded the uh, enhanced shock waves. Could come in quite handy. Still has a way to go as TY is moving across here. Might be aiming towards battle. It's all in one big blob happening as well, so this could be a scary one. Uh, some feedback happening, but here we go. Okay, there's another feedback. Doing some good stuff overall. Uh, here is Creator. Yeah, actually, really good stuff. Uh, the feedbacks have been surreal. He's losing the High Templar, though, still, of course, but... I mean, he stopped any EMP from going off, and that, is, that on its own may be... Uh, 40Y, plenty to consider to go home again here. Salads. So Trying to uh, get rid of some of those SCVs. Do manage to uh, be quite successful. Hmm. Getting a bit distracted with what's happening in the chat. <laughs> Mod stuff. Anyway. Anyway. 
Um, all right, yeah. There is some zealot aggression still going on. The marines up here are very, very low on the HP, so they are going to have a rough time. We'll manage to hold on, though, thanks to the bunker being with them. TY is less in an economic advantage right now than he was before. Surprised that we're still not seeing any Liberators. There are Liberators on the Production tab, but... We'll have to wait and see. Oh, this is also interesting, of course. And carriers are the next step here. Now, the Air Weapons upgrades for Creator are going to be a major factor now. He never quite started them, and that could be a mistake here, because... Carriers, they increase in damage an enormous amount. I think it's like 60-ish uh, percent extra damage dealt overall. Which is uh, it's insane with the upgrades. So if he does manage to make that uh, all, all the way, could become too much for TY to take on in a fight. I'm moving back once more. Oh, oh, this is something. This is something. What in the... What was that? Creator. Creator? What? He just split, his, split up his army into like five pieces and... Well, two of the pieces just absolutely got murdered. And T.Y. takes a <laughs> demanding kind of victory in that battle on two sides. Takes out the Nexus, takes out all the Disruptors. Now the Liberators come in here. That was insane. There was six Disruptors right there. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. The Vikings, too many to deal with. The Colossi go down before they manage to deal any kind of real damage to the ground. The Medifax happily kind of healing away. As the Liberator step further forwards, the... Oh, well, the carriers here may come in and still shut this down a little bit. But they do need to use all their intercepts at the same time, of course. Bit of missed micro there as well. Uh, going for the Liberators first. And the carriers still uh, trying to get rid of the Marines here, though. And, yeah, okay, does stabilize. Losing eight probes and Nexus. Uh, an enormous amount of disruptors. But that's about it. That is about it. <laughs> he did kill a lot as well, to be fair. It's, don't get me wrong. He did manage to get quite a lot of kills there also. But uh, he did not take the favorable trade. That is for sure. Liberators trying to set up shop here. Oh, disruptor. Getting a couple of good connections right there. Creator. I mean, he's in a pretty good spot if he does force a fight here. I'm, I'm surprised we're still not seeing any medifacts being constructed. Seeing how low most of this bio right now is. Ooh, a lot of the Liberators not sieged up as this battle starts. Reasonable disruptive shots as well. The carriers. Are the carriers already too much to handle right now? Especially with those types of storms looking pretty good. Actually, a couple of storms maybe a, too, a bit too soon. But... Maybe it won't matter anyway. The zealots rushing forwards. And killing his son, Zealots, there a little bit. It doesn't seem to matter much anymore. Creator actually bringing it back here. And being the player to uh, to bring it all to a close. Moving across with that carrier army. Uh, TY struggling against the, uh, against the feedbacks there in the initial parts. Against the close of... Uh, what well, defensive setup for Creator. And for a moment, for a moment I thought Creator would win then and there. Uh, didn't quite happen to UI, making a comeback happen somewhat. Bringing it uh, very close to just an end into his favor. And all of a sudden, uh, Creator comes just back in. <laughs> just makes, uh, makes it work still. Makes it work still. 
The problem is that, yeah, he's, he's having a tough time killing the carriers here. Especially because if he either focuses the carriers, then that entire ball of zealots, Archons and, uh, well, Storm and Stalkers will try to kill him off as well. I mean, T.Y., surprisingly, the supply is not too far apart here. Maybe, maybe I'm calling this too quickly. Maybe. I mean, he does have another base right there on the, uh, the left side, right? He's still expanding even towards that left side. So if he does manage to hold on here still, it could still be quite good. He's starting to make some moves happen here on top of the ramp area. Creator really trying to push forward. So I don't think Creator knows about these sort of bases that are still there. Yeah, he does not know. So he thinks he's just at a base advantage right now as he's sending in all his units. Uh, TY may still be in too much trouble though. The Vikings will have to land eventually. A good holding the front guard there. Bit of uh, Spartan action with those Vikings. Some SCVs going down, but I think this will be uh, this will be solved as a situation eventually, right? Where's the follow-up? Where's the reinforcements for it created? That's what I'm wondering. There we go. Okay, Vikings clean it up. Now, where the hell is that reinforcements? We got a couple of zealots here, but that's like one warping. Creator, you were there for a long time, my friend. What are you up to? More Archons? Okay, so just zealots with Archon charge. That is the plan here, it seems. Zealots with, uh, sorry, <laughs> zealot charge with Archons. Okay, TY. It's a planetary fortress there as well, so that's a difficult target to engage. It's either up this ramp or up against the planetary fortress. Those are the two options. He's not sure which one to take. I don't blame him. This is a very difficult decision to make. We'll have to make it soon, though. Vikings back up in the sky. On the matter of fact, gets taken out. Oh, forcing out a stim there. Bit of a panic. Third option, do neither. I mean, that's that's a good point. Goes for the planetary, and he does manage to get it. Is there another planetary here? Yes, there is. A couple of widow mines as well. Orbitals are going to be in trouble. That's a lot of orbitals that TY managed to create. He's starting to mine from here as well, by the way. All right, guys, I think TY may still be bringing this back again as we keep getting pulled away from a conclusion. Is TY now once more turning it around? Yes, he is. GG. What a man. What a show. TY. TY from the brink of the feet. He was with carriers. Archon, Starkers, Zealots, everything on top of his production. Creator not having a place to send in reinforcements from, though. And I think that was enough for DY to actually slowly but surely start taking control back uh, from that game. That was that was a crazy one. That was a really cool game, honestly. But DY bringing it out in the end.